Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erin and I do mostly budgeting videos, but I also do planning videos like the one you're about to see here. stopping by and checking in. Again, if you're new here, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on one of my videos. I hope that you will decide to stick around and subscribe. I'm going to be doing my week's plan with me. And then as you guys know, just like last week, I will also be doing my schedule like a boss video where I get into a little bit more detail and time blocking. So that will be a separate video. But this is just going to be my overview just like I did last week except what's different this week is that I'm moving into a classic size happy planner instead of the big happy planner because the big one just had too much space and it, it just felt a little bit too overwhelming. Whereas I think I could fill that up with my scheduling components you know because I think that when you're time blocking you need all the space because you get very detailed but what for this purpose and for just doing an overview of the week I think that the big happy planner was just too big so I have a couple sticker books here that I'm going to be pulling from and I have a couple others just in case these don't fit the bill entirely and these are by recollections and they are the hot buys so just like the scrapbook paper that Michael sells that have the hot buy emblem or sticker on them these are fairly inexpensive I think that they're $9.99 regular regularly <laughs> if I can say that um but these were on sale for five dollars I thought they were a pretty good deal this one is the boho and then this one is wild and chic and I have another one that is an autumn one that I have stashed away for autumn times I'm getting into this happy planner all the happy planners that I've been using lately are or using this year so far have been 60% off and plus I've been using my re rewards from Michaels and so it's been a pretty good deal plus I had a gift card and I was getting all kinds of discounts and money off so we're going to flip to January I am going to be switching out the discs for this and maybe even putting on one of the standard happy planner covers because I'm not crazy about this cover. I don't know why. It just doesn't do it for me. And the white discs, I'm just not feeling those either. So I'm going to flip until the current week we have coming up, which starts Monday, January 10th and goes to Sunday the 16th and just start kind of plugging in some general overview broad um events and things that I have going on my weeks are pretty predictable and what I mean by that is I work full-time so I do 40 hours at an office job other than that I try to squeeze in as much as I can after work not really before work because I'm not gonna lie to you and say I'm a morning person because I'm not not that I haven't ever utilized my mornings to get some things done but if I can at all help it, I do. I'm just not a morning person. A lot of what I do, my personal life things that I have to get done happen in the evenings and definitely I utilize my weekends. Some of these stickers are super cute. I like the whole like running errands kind of look that it has going on. I want this to be a very creative space and I want this to be very colorful. I am trying to keep my bullet journal very minimal as far as the design of it, it goes and I'm doing those update videos every Thursday so if you're interested in bullet journaling stay tuned for those but my designs in the bullet journal are very functional and very minimal and I want this to kind of be my creative space because I do like to doodle I do like lots of color you know it just depends so I'm going to go through these and just like last time, I'm going to fast forward through the actual laying down of the stickers and all that because that takes so much time. And then I will pop back on and we can plug in some to-dos.
this might look a little random, it, even to me it does, but I, I like the color scheme. I like the oranges and the pinks and kind of what it looks like bringing it all together. And I also like this darker color here just to kind of anchor things just a bit so it's not all too light and bright, I guess. I think since there's so much bright color into this, let's just use my regular 0.38 Muji ballpoint. And so let's just plug in some typical things that we have going on every single week. And this week is not much different. Monday, it's going to be work but it's only going to be eight until 12. Let me zoom in just a bit. I have a doctor's appointment. One. Okay, so I have that and I'm not gonna get into too much detail and like I said, all the time blocking and everything that comes with that but um, just a few basic things so I do need to pick up a couple prescriptions and I'll probably do that after my doctor's appointment just in case she prescribes something else in addition to what I have to get refilled and tomorrow is going to be my day to make refinance phone calls and typically what happens you know at least when I have done a refinance in the past is you start a little bit on a website for a bank or a lender you know mortgage broker and then they end up calling you for more information and just to make sure I guess you're serious they want to make contact with you so that's how that usually goes. And then Tuesday, it's going to be a typical work day. And I really don't like how my writing is going. I This is bothering me. I don't know if you guys are like me, but certain days or certain times, do you feel like you write better with one pen versus another? So sometimes I feel like, you know, the super fine tip 0.38 is, you know, how I write the best. And then other times... I want like a, a bold ball tip. I don't know, it's just really strange. And so then we have a team meeting at work. And we're gonna do that at nine o'clock on Tuesday this week. And so hopefully that will take place. We've had some people in and out sick, you know, just, you know how it goes right now. So I just want to make sure that everybody's back before we actually go through with that because there's no point in having a team meeting if all your team isn't there. Dinner is going to be at the diner. And so we'll eat out that night. And then Wednesday is going to be your typical work eight to four. Nothing unusual. We have a vendor call. At first I was thinking, I know I'm not, and that's a 10. I was thinking, I know I'm not missing like any type of event or anything. So that's gonna be Wednesday. Oh, one of my hairs just fell out. All right, Thursday. And you know what? Wednesday is a filming day. All right, and then Thursday is work eight to four. And Friday is also work eight to four. However, Friday is my payday. And it's also going to be my husband's base payday. And that's usually on the 15th and the 30th, but if the 15th is a Saturday, of course it will be the day before just because of the banks, but also our bank deposits usually a day early. So even though this is technically my payday, I usually get it deposited the day before. I have to film this evening my budget with me. And then I'm gonna pay a couple of bills this day. 
okay? And then Friday is going to be pizza night. And I just uploaded a meal plan with me video if you're interested in that. I'm also using um, the new uh, Happy Planner Meal Planner to um, plan my meals every week now. So that's going to be a pizza night and there's going to be some other stuff going on in here. And then Saturday is going to be filming. Um, oh, and then Friday nights I'm doing laundry. I forgot about that. So I find it easier than taking up valuable weekend time. Why can't I just do laundry while we're at home Friday evening? I mean, it's just going to get me a head start. And usually all I have to do is, uh, you know, work clothes from the week. And then Sunday I will do laundry again and change the sheets. So this is going to be laundry and sheets. and shower curtain. So we took down all of our Christmas decorations, except the Christmas shower curtain, which it doesn't even look that Christmassy because it's got a gray background, but I need to take that down and wash that before we pack it away. So that's the only remnant of the holiday still left up, but I'm gonna do a shower curtain swap. So I'll wash the Christmas one, pack that away, and get out a different one. Uh, and then Sunday, I'm also going to film. I'm going to grocery shop. And then I think I'm going to have breakfast with my mom, my husband, and brother. Just so we can have a little bit of family time. And on Saturday also, I want to run a couple errands. And, oh gosh, okay. I'll have to plug in some additional things. And then Saturday evening is going to be dinner out. And I don't know where we're gonna go. Oh, and then Monday, I want to shop online for an anniversary gift because the end of this month, is our 22nd anniversary. So I wanna buy a nice gift for, for the husband. So here it is, this is my nice outline, my plan with me for the week. And I will be using this throughout the week to add some things, maybe a little bit more detail, maybe a little bit more doodling. Like I said, I want this to be my creative space and also use it as, you know, kind of my structure and my outline for the entire week like an overview if you guys are interested in a more detailed rendition of this just stay tuned for my schedule like a boss video because i do use a happy planner classic but i i use the lined vertical for that so i can plug in times and get to the nitty-gritty of what's going on for the day to be as productive as possible i try to use a little color coding and the time blocking and the combination of those two things really it, it seems to be anyway. I mean, I've only done one week of it this year, one full week, but it seems to really keep me on track and I like to check things off as I complete them. That makes me feel super accomplished. So just stay tuned for that if you're interested in the more planning side of things uh, and stay tuned for my budget. And on Wednesday, I'm going to have a video uploaded that talks to you about my next massive goal. And with your help, some of you who have watched the video where I asked you your opinion about refinancing versus purchasing a new home, you didn't decide for me, but you definitely gave me some food for thought because it's always good to hear an outsider's perspective, somebody who doesn't have stakes in the situation and see what their take is, maybe what they would do. So I really appreciate those of you who gave some feedback and, you know, maybe grounded me a little bit just to figure out, you know, what the best solid financial decision is to make. I have a history of making not rash or sudden, but I... And probably more spontaneous in my decision making in life and it hasn't really hindered me at all but I like to move on to the next thing and I'm always like thinking of the next thing while I'm in, in the middle of the current thing and so I just wanted to make sure that this 
the decision that my husband and I made as far as, you know, do we want to pay off our mortgage or do we want to get a new home? You know, I wanted to make sure that we gave it as much all around thought as humanly possible. So I will be giving you guys an update on that decision and where we're going to go from there. You guys know that I did put in here, um, you know, call a bank about refinancing. I do want to get all of the components in place and know what those numbers look like before I announce the final decision. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Like I said, if you haven't already subscribed, I would love if you stuck around and did so. I have lots of budgeting, a financial journey, and planning content to come and I appreciate you guys so so much. I hope your week is off to a great start and I really hope I see you on my next video. Take care.